Hello, welcome back to City Planner Plays, where we are calling mulligans in Verde Beach, and we're currently looking at the tornado that was in the end of the previous episode, and it looks like it's about to call a mulligan on Johnson Aggregates. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. It has disappeared. All right, well, crisis averted. All of that said, we are going to call some mulligans on things that we have previously built and incorporate some of the new content into the build. So again, I am off right now. I'm hanging out with my kids on spring break, and I thought it might be fun to come through and make a couple of changes to the city. So in today's episode, I want to adjust the transit network a bit and make a couple of changes that I think have been necessary for a while and a couple that you've requested on a number of occasions. The very first one I want to do is address the tram network. The tram network kind of ends arbitrarily right here, does a loop. And the reason why it's ending is we have our monorail right here and we can't extend through there. Now that hasn't changed, unfortunately. If I were to convert this to be one of our combination monorail tram streets, you can't get underneath this, but there are some unique ways that we can work around this. And I wanna basically extend the tram to downtown Verde Beach. And in the next episode, we're gonna do something to really formalize this, but we can do something to get it going for today. And then after that, I want to adjust the bus routes around here to make sure that we are using all of our bus lanes. So let's start out with our tram. And the main idea that I have here is to extend the monorail up through here. And then we're going to take a couple of single family homes and add a monorail station up here. The main reason for that is that if we were to go ahead and convert this street to be a tram monorail street and this one too, first of all, it has to be six lane. I don't know why there's not a four lane variant, but we're going six lanes then and it doesn't extend through the station. So I'll have to use one of these monorail stations and I'll pull it up here. This is the one that doesn't have a road attached to it. We'll just bring that right there. And I'm gonna dezone a couple things over here as well. And now I want to convert this road to be a monorail street. And interesting, we actually have monorail tracks on a two lane road with tram tracks as well. We don't need that, we'll just go with this. And then I'll extend this over just a little bit and turn that right in. You might have noticed I didn't delete this yet. And the main reason for that is it's really challenging to move your monorail lines when you deleted a station. So now I can delete this very easily. I'm gonna pause it though, because I don't want my buildings to go away. I'm gonna look at the zoning and see if it's probably gonna be a problem no matter what. But let's just give ourselves our best chance. I'm gonna get rid of this and then we'll add our new street through here and bring our zoning back. And let's see if it goes away, probably will. Maybe we got lucky, maybe we got lucky. So now this is fully functional. We need to continue bringing our tram down. So the idea that I have here is to convert this until right here. So we're gonna need to relocate one more tram station. Uh, look at that, distance too short, I can't convert this one. All right, we'll need to pause again. And we'll use our curved row tool with all of our guidelines on select this guideline, move it over, and then to replace the zoning through here, it's gonna be the easiest to use our large brush. Let's paint that in there. There we go, and our monorail's still going. It's chugging along happy-like. Now, here's our next problem. We've gotta relocate this station over to the other side of the road. So I'm gonna pause this momentarily again and just pull this over here. I just got done saying that we really don't want to disconnect a station before moving the stop on the route, but I did it anyway. Let's see if I can get away with one. and I was able to get away with one. So here I have this converted to be a monorail, but we actually don't need that. So I'm gonna come back through and take this down a notch. Now I'm curious, do we have a tram street with trees? We do. So I think we'll convert this to be a four lane tram street with trees, and then we'll take this down to a two lane tram road. We can do that with bicycle lanes. I kinda like the idea of that, being able to bike and tram down the ocean. Sounds amazing. Now I'm a little concerned about this area because there's a lot of bus routes that go through here. And I know that we're gonna be doing something over here. So I'm not gonna get overly picky about it, but we will add lanes down here so that the tram can get around the buses. And of course, we're gonna have more problems with distances being too short. And that should have brought it all the way up here. It should be good. 
All right, one more thing I want to do before I forget about it. I converted this little segment right here to be a monorail with trees, and we want to do that all the way up and down Sunset. We have an opportunity now to not choose between monorail and palm trees, and you better believe that we are going to absolutely take both options when we can. Unfortunately, it also means that we're losing a ton of buildings. Really bothers me that that's happening, but not enough that I'm not going to do it. And now that all of our streets are upgraded, we're going to plant some palm trees. We're going to go with our new young palms. Beautiful. Let's take a look at these to see how they feel. Oh, I love that. The thing I don't love is we painstakingly planted uh, probably two or three years ago at this point, all of the trees along the side of the road. Very tedious process back in the day, and now it was so easy. Now that we have that, I want to ensure that our route comes all the way down here, and I want to make sure that our new monorail, which is now extended out here, actually has enough capacity to handle the new route length. So let's start out with our tram, and I'm going to remove these stops right here. And before we do this, I just want to, I want to Keep an eye at our utilization. And we are modifying Old Verde, which has 112 passengers per week. Generally, we don't see a lot of tram utilization, which kind of makes sense if you think about it. It's not super useful in terms of the route. So now that we've added this, I think it's going to go all the way down already for us. Yep, it's already turning around down there. So I'm going to add stops every few blocks. It's tram, so this is a hyper local service. All right, we are all set with our tram now. Let's take a look at our utilization, and it's about the same. So this will probably improve with time. I mean, it has to. In fact, I would assume that if we look at some of these new stops, we're going to start to see some queuing. Actually, not too crazy. 25, that is one of our new stops. And that's actually right in front of our subway station. I'm going to change the number of vehicles that we have. We'll bring it to 100%. And I'm going to change our vehicle. I love seeing the capacity here. We're going to change it to a higher capacity tram. I might actually go for something near the top and we'll see what happens. We'll come back to this. This is a very long route, 10.5 kilometers, lots and lots of stops, but it is a local service. So that makes sense. And then we did address adjust our monorail as well. Let's take a look at that. The this is the sunset line and it looks like our existing monorail is handling everything pretty well. If anything, we have too much capacity. So I'm going to take one of our new monorails. We'll take the 120 capacity monorail and we'll convert this to that. I want to take a look at this as well. This is our other monorail line. This is the one that goes all the way out to the Lewis Garden City. And again, we are we have way too much capacity on here with our old monorail train. So we'll take this down to a 120 capacity train. Some of our new ones. And I just wanted to get a good look at these new monorails. You can see the old ones right here. They're fine, but these new ones look pretty outstanding. I love that it looks like they're hugging the track too. Really, really nice assets. Now that we have this done though, I want to focus on our bus routes for just a little bit. And if we come into our transport menu, what we can see now is that our, our roads with bus lanes are going to highlight in a light blue. Now, the interesting thing is you can see that over time we've converted some of these roads and we left the bus routes where they were. I don't think that every road that has a bus route needs bus lanes, but in some instances it could be helpful. And like here's, here's one where I think it might be helpful to get this onto a street that's a little straighter, a little quicker for bus service, maybe a little more centered, and relocate some of these other routes and have a whole bunch of routes on a street like that. It would kind of make some sense. That said, I'm gonna start over here and convert some of these roads. And right here, for instance, this is one of the roads where we had some of our issues. I'm going to convert this. Instead of having this road right here, our large avenue with bus lanes, I'm just going to convert this to our large avenue. And you can see as soon as I update it, it is no longer light blue. Super helpful, but you've got to be in the transport menu to be able to see this. And there we go. That is awesome. And how does it look? It looks 
purposeful. I love that. That's awesome. What a great feature. That is something that uh, that's the sort of quality of life change that you just it's hard to quantify how beneficial that is. Oh, and here's another one. The purple. I forgot to convert these back to normal roads. We'll do that. And then down here, I know that I absolutely want to relocate some of this bus traffic. So what we're going to do, we have quite a bit of, of, of traffic through here. We're going to pull this on through. And I want to get this as close to this collector as possible. And we'll just run a bus, a bus lane down here. This will be a bus priority street. And I'm even going to cross the road here. And we're going to do something special to address that. Let's relocate our bus stops and get them onto this new bus priority road. The one thing I wish happened is, so I added this bus bus priority street. It's got bus lanes and it, I still have to add stops to force folks to actually stay on there. I wish that didn't happen, but it does. So we'll work around it where we have to. And I'm gonna convert this road as well. And now it's going to be really easy to make that movement through here. And I'm going to double these up. We've got bus lanes, so it should be okay. And I basically got all of the bus routes that were going down this collector to move onto this street. So now it's a nice, easy, easy to control movement through here. We've also got some buses going up this side street. I'm not sure why that's happening. We're going to add in some kind of arbitrary stops to keep folks on the bus roads. So there we go. That cleaned it up really nicely. And there's one other important spot to take a look at, and that's right through here. I knew that we had some issues. So again, we'll come through. We'll remove those bus lanes. And while we're taking a look at this, we can see that there's some kind of weird stuff going on with this route. We'll fix that up as well. So now I again want to take a look at our trams and it looks like their passengers have just plummeted, which doesn't make any sense to me. I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, it does make sense. We've got a ton of bunching and we see that at some of these stops, particularly right here. Well, <laughs> yeah, that tram stop right in front of our Union Station and all of the modes coming together is completely uh, clogged up. We've got a whole bunch of stops like that, actually. What, what I'm going to do is Put this on fast speed for just a moment and we're going to speed this on through and then we'll balance this out once we know that the capacity is normalized. And while we are waiting for things to normalize, why don't we enjoy a quick tour of our tram network. Right, and I gave this a bit of time and now the route has mostly stabilized. So what we're seeing is that everything is unbunched. There's no gigantic queues anywhere. And our overall tram utilization looks like it's tripled from where it was before. Maybe a little less than tripled, maybe double and a half. Maybe that's what we'll call it. So things are looking better. I've thought about adjusting this and ensuring that our capacity is exactly where it should be. But we're going to be redoing the Harbor District in the next one. So it just it seems a little premature to adjust this route. So we'll leave it as is. There is one more thing that we do need to take a look at, though. I mentioned that I wanted to make some adjustments to the traffic system here, and that is really adding signals. So in reality, when you have a local bus route uh, or buses on a local street crossing a collector or arterial, oftentimes you'll need to add a signal because the buses are slow and would really struggle to get across this. And the last thing you'd want is the bus waiting right here for like five minutes trying to cross the street. So we'll add a signal here so that the buses can get across. And even here, 
I think there might be some value in adding another signal. The bigger concern that I see right here is that we've got a lot of bunching. Oh my goodness, we have a tsunami, a big tsunami. All right, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna wait on the on that for that until the next one. What I want to do is see if I can upgrade this to have more capacity. I think I can. We got this four lane road with tram tracks. There we go. <laughs> I'm a little bit flustered. I didn't expect that to happen, but there we go. Now we've got capacity here to spare so that when the trams come right here, they're able to uh, to have some passing occur. So hopefully the uh, things will unbunch here. The one problem that we've created is now our bike lanes kind of end abruptly. So let's address that as well. There we go. Not ideal to be forced to cross the street to get over to this multi-use path, but it's probably better than not having anything at all. So I think that this is where we leave it. <laughs> we'll have to see what happens with the tsunami in the next one. I'm not even going to turn back and look. I hope that you've enjoyed this one. If you did, please consider hitting the like button. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. And I really can't wait to see you in the next one where we'll see what happens. Maybe Verde Beach gets wiped out by a tsunami. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.